Hi everybody, my name's Paul. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use decolorant by Jacquard. For many years, this was also called discharge paste. Its basic job is to take the color out of fabrics. I use it a lot for cotton t-shirts, just like I did for this one, which was just a blue shirt when I got it. Then I made my own design and I use it a decolorant to take out the color just where I want. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Okay, so let me show you some examples of some things I've done and I'll show you how you can start making your own shirts. Here we go. Okay, so let's talk essential supplies. Essential number one, of course, is the decolorant or discharge paste. Uh, a little tube of eight ounce for this, I believe was 10 to $15. They do make also a mist. I've not tried this yet, the spray, but I'll give it a try today. And you'll need some freezer paper. And this is absolutely key to this kind of process I'm gonna work on. One side is paper, one side is wax. And I'll ex explain later why that's necessary. Uh, also, as far as the shirts go, you need 100% cotton. The 50-50 blends or other stuff doesn't really work or polyester doesn't work, it has to be 100% cotton. Uh, so today I'm gonna make kind of one simple shirt to show you how you can do something really quick and I'll do something a little more complicated with uh, a cutting machine that I have called my Cricut machine. So let's do the simple one first. Okay, how big you cut a piece of wax paper depends on what size you want for your design. This is a 12 inch ruler here. So I'm gonna cut a piece maybe 12 inch by 14 inch, just to leave a little, leave a little extra space on the side. And I'll show you why that's important when we get to that point. So I'm just gonna kind of line this up. And I think this that's about 13 inches there. Okay, and so I'll, I'll finish sizing it up. I'll cut one more for the other shirt. Okay, here's my first drawing, kind of a crooked tree, moon and some stars. All right, to cut it out, any little exacto knife or cutting blade from the dollar store will do just fine. So you can either freehand it or if you have some straight edges, you can use this. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll cut this design out. All right, now I've got the cutout design. I'm gonna put it on my shirt, iron it on. First, it's good to get a piece of tape, kind of measure out the middle of the shirt so you get it nice and lined up and you put it wherever you want, how high you want it. And I think I'll put it right about there and then you just iron it on. Right now I don't have a, a towel underneath the shirt but I will later when, when the discharge paste is on. So let me make sure that's lined up uh, close enough. There we go. So now you just kind of iron it on so it gets real. And watch your sharp edges so you don't roll those back. First you just kind of tap it down And then you want this to really be nice and firm and hot and stay there so that wax side really melt, melts into the shirt so that when you put the uh, decolorant in there, it doesn't bleed underneath the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna get this on and I'll put some of the stars that I cut out, I'll put them in here. Okay, so I took the stars, plus I cut a couple more out and uh, you just kind of put them wherever you want. If you kind of do this design, what it'll do is when you put the discharge paste or decolorant on, it'll leave that dark green. So now I'm gonna iron these ones so these all stay too. Okay, now I have it ironed on. I'm gonna take my decolorant and it's always preferable to do this outside because this stuff really smells, especially when you iron it and it kind of goes up in the air, the color comes out. So I, do, I usually do it all outside. So just put some on your brush and you're just gonna kind of lightly go inside that area I usually kind of wiggle it in, especially like the corners, just to make sure it got into all parts of it. Otherwise, when you iron it later, you'll see that some of it is not, the color did not come out. I usually do it once and then I let it dry for a short time and then I do it one more time. And then it needs to set for a couple hours. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep working my way on up. My second design is a little bit more complex and I made it on an app on my phone, which is really cool. And of course it has to do with science and outer space stuff which is one of my main hobbies. Here's my latest album I just released. You're welcome to check it out on Apple Music or Spotify or whatever. The app I use is called Bizarre Art. I use that for a lot of my uh, shirt projects. Um, one thing I like about it is you can easily bend words and that's a lot of fun. You can also stretch and distort words. Then I send an email with that picture file to my laptop, upload it to my Cricut program. Now the Cricut machine cuts out the design. Okay, so now I've had it cut it out and I'll go through the same process. Actually, I'm gonna try this mist. Uh, I'm kind of covering up his areas because this is a squirt and I don't want to get on other areas. So let's try the M and I 
and we'll use that. See how it goes. There's a lot more liquidy. I'm a little worried about it getting underneath the uh, the paper there, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to paint the rest of this, and we'll remember that these M and I that's going to be the spray, and the rest are going to be paint. All right, so here we go. Okay, so it's a couple hours later. Now I'm going to uh, use my iron with steam to take the color out. You can see some of it's already started to come out. So now when I do this, I usually take my little space heater and I just turn it on the regular blower and just to make sure the smoke or the steam goes the other way with that nasty smelling stuff. So I'm gonna set this down here, uh, turn it on here in a second. Now normally I keep it on and I iron to see if the color comes out. But I think today I'm going to take it off because when I iron with it super hot, it gets hard to take this off afterwards and it gets real sticky and you have to kind of use your fingernail to get that off. So I'm going to try something different. I have two shirts, if it doesn't work, I can do it on the other. So first I'm just going to take this off and then I'll steam and we'll see how it goes. See if the lines stay nice and sharp still. So it's much easier to take it off like this and take all these little parts out. And then when we steam, we should see the color come out. But this can be real challenging if you leave it on and iron it because then that paper wants to just stay stuck on the shirt. And if it doesn't work, I'll do it on the other shirt. But uh, let's try it like this. Okay. Now you just take your steam. And we're going to remember, remember MI. That's with the, with the um, spray, the mist. So you can see it's taking the color out right away. You just steam and work your way around. So far looking good. So far I don't see much of the mist taking it out at all. So maybe that stuff doesn't work as good on the cotton. We'll see when we get done here. If it doesn't, what I'll do is I'll just take my paintbrush and I'll paint in there do that over cool looking good and depending if you like different effects you can stop wherever you like leave it like that or keep it getting a little bit get a more brighter white okay so I'm gonna keep steaming I'll catch up here in a second okay so I've steamed most of it and you see the color came out looks pretty darn cool so here's some interesting things you can do first of all that uh, the sprayer thing that didn't work very good the mist so I'm gonna go back and get some more of my regular stuff I think I'm just going to re-cut out just M and I so I can paste it over here. Also, you notice that some spots, maybe it uh, still has uh, not quite as bright. So, like in that spot here, here, I'll get it right over so you can see. So, what you can do, if you want, I think that's kind of cool just the way it is, but you can also take a little bit more of the discharge paste and you can put it in there, paint it in there. You wait uh, just literally 15 minutes until it dries and you can, uh, you'll can you see it get bright, which I'll show you. So, let me go get some of the to touch up that I'll paint some in there so you can see how it works to kind of uh, make it brighter if you want all right while I'm waiting for that shirt to dry well, let's go ahead and do this one so let's take off this first fan and let's see, what see what happens when you take this off you get the base fab uh, the base color so for a lot of greens it's kind of either kind of a brownish or a yellowish like this which looks really good for this design so I'm steaming quite a bit and there we go all right so that looks pretty awesome 
Okay, so I've put in some more discharge paste on the MI. I'm gonna wait till that dries and give it like an hour. But in the meantime, uh, what I'm also gonna do, something interesting, is that you can take a little extra of the paste and put it in little spots if you want to give it kind of a model look. Those will come out brighter than the what you see there already. So, and since this is about microbes, I thought that'd be kind of cool. So I'll show you how that looks. Okay, gonna finish. We'll see if that uh, was able to touch that up. Great, looks like we're getting something. Also, I added some extra little spots, you can see, just to make it kind of a fun modeled look. Uh, so I'm gonna really work on this here. And you can see now that the regular discharge paste is uh, doing pretty good that that patch that up. So I'm going to keep going here and get the whole thing so I get all the little white spots too that I wanted. Cool. See that? So it's kind of fun. I just thought microbes. What the heck? And I'll show you what happens when you get a little piece out to the side like that. Okay, let me finish this and I'll show you how to do touch up. Okay, so I've finished ironing and steaming. So cool stuff to learn here. One is once you take off that wax paper, you can see when I tried to make some just little spots just for some extra fun, well, it kind of bled out on the side. So no big deal. Uh, I use just fabric markers if I need to touch something up. Currently I'm using this brand, but uh, there's lots of good stuff on the market. So when you get done, you can just kind of touch it up. All right, both shirts are done and looking pretty artsy cool. Uh, the nice part about this process is that uh, you make whatever you want for your designs and it's strictly up to you. Uh, and you'll notice the, these uh, base color of the cotton shirts is usually a cream or variation of cream color. So it looks really good against the dark colored shirts. Okay, thanks for watching the video and good luck on making your own shirts. I'm gonna record a few songs for my next album and then I'm gonna make a follow-up video for this video. And here's a little sneak preview of what that's all about. If you want, you can also put color back in and many different colors as I did on this shirt. This was just a dark blue shirt. I used the process I just showed you to take the color out and then I modified tie-dye in a special way so you can put tie-dye color in there, which is a really great because then you can wash it hundreds and hundreds of times and it still looks vibrant just like when you first made it. A little different than fabric markers that kind of fade with each wash. And so anyways, there's a process to that and I'll show you that in the next video. Catch you then.